Oh, it's fantastic! And best of all, I'm the one who gets to investigate it. That is, if we ever get going. Patience, Flipshot. Just a few more notes. <clears throat> the tremendous eruption of solar flares has interrupted deep space communication for some time now. Our expedition will take us close to the suns so we can make more complete observations of this phenomenon. Spirits are running high. Everyone is excited about this once-in-a-lifetime expedition. Why do I have to go on this dumb trip? I need a robot to work with. And you are as back at the lab being overhauled. Sure. Plan an expedition to the suns and you all has a malfunction. Keep an eye out for mutants, Sagatar. Our trajectory is far from Moon Nordor, but you never know. Nothing on deep space radar. I think we're free of them on this mission. Sagatar? Are you all right? Yes, yes. Just a little dizzy, that's all. He seems to be all right. He's probably just tired. Uh, why don't you go lie down for a while? I don't get tired. You heard, Geppel. That's an order. Tired. of the herd. Oh, how could I have miscalculated the date? I'm getting good picture graphs of the sun's disturbances from this point. We're halfway to our destination. We must change course. Sagatar, I thought you were resting. I said we must change our course. Something's wrong with him. I heard that! You're all against me! You're trying to stop me! Ah! Whoa! You're going nowhere until you change the course of this starship! Easy, Sagatar. Don't upset yourself. Stay where you are, scientist. I know your tricks. Sagatar, there's something wrong with you. What's wrong is the course we're on! <laughs> Leap, fire a stun blast at him. Oh, I expect a bonus for this when we get home. That isn't going to be necessary. Is it, Sagatar? I could barely hold him. It must be some sort of illness. I'm not feeling so hot myself. I just don't understand it. There's nothing physically wrong with him. It is not a weakness of the body, but of the spirit. It is the running of the herd. The running of the herd? It's the most important ritual on Equinos, my home planet. Many hundreds of thousands of Telks ago, when my planet was young, my people were different than they are today, although even then they were a peace-loving race. In those distant early days, my people were all horse. We roamed free and ran like the wind on the plains of Equinos. Over the course of time, we evolved to our present state. Half horse, half human. Still, we remember those early days and pay tribute to them through the running of the herd.
It sounds like a wonderful tradition, Sagatar. It is more than a tradition. Once every 13 Telks, we must return for the running of the herd. If we do not, we perish. Why didn't you tell us this sooner? It's been many Telks since I was home. In the Telks I've been gone, I failed to mark the time. Now my inner self has reminded me. Flipshot, change course for Equinos. I'm sorry for what I did. The pull of the herd was so sudden that I didn't act like myself. There's no need to explain, Sagatar. But what about the expedition? Forget it! Who cares about a bunch of sunspots anyway? Just don't go getting mushy on me! Mutant Trooper Squads 5, 7, and 11 to the mothership! Low terror traits and terror claws! Your spies are to be congratulated, Staghorn. Getting that information about the running of the herd is invaluable. We can be sure the Galactic Guardians will escort Sagatar to Equinos. And when they get there, we'll be waiting for them! <laughs> <laughs> Nikor, there must be a way to get through to Sagatar. We know he's a Galactic Guardian serving on Primus. We've tried everything, Biskita. He should have been here by now. He knows the running of the herd is tomorrow. He will be here, Biskita. He cannot help but be. General Nikor, this is Captain Wilkin. We're under attack. A huge ship attacking with lasers. Radar didn't pick him up until now. Your fighter's airboy. Too late. We can't get off the ground. It's a full-scale invasion. Woo wee! You guessed it, my little pony. <laughs> Mutant troopers have the building surrounded, Nikor. I can only hope Will Khan escaped. I am Flog, leader of the mutants. Your planet is ours. I am General Nikor. What do you want of us? A certain Galactic Guardian is on his way here for the running of the herd. Sagatar. Ah, pretty and smart. When the ship from Primus arrives, we shall be the greeting party. If any of you alerts them, all of your planet will be destroyed. We have no choice, Biskita. Time He Man and his friends land, they'll never know a battle was fought here. And we attack them as soon as they get here, right? As soon as they're far enough away from their ship with no chance of getting it airborne. When the Galactic Guardians are driven past those hangars, we make the attack. We're entering Equinos airspace. Just being close to Equinos has given me back my strength. Equinos Space Base is picking us up. Biskeeza? Sagatar, it's so good to see you. I knew you'd come. Captain Hydman, you may land at coordinates 493-709. Right, we're on our way. Now, see? That wasn't so bad. We'll be out of here before you know it. And what about Sagatar? You'd do better to worry about the other peace-loving weaklings on this planet rather than just one galactic guardian. Oh, 
Sagatar, I've missed you so. And I've missed you. Come, we'll talk on the way into the city. No, there's a hover car waiting for you over here. But Mesquita... There is much for you to do before the running of the herd. Your friends will see you tomorrow. What is she doing? She's taking him to a hover car. Sagatar's being driven in one direction, He-Man's group in the other. I don't like it. It could be a trap. If they knew we were here, they'd never leave their ship. Wait, she's coming toward us. Let's hear what she has to say. You ruined our attack! I only ask that you put off your attack until tomorrow, allowing Sagatar to run with the herd. We have no choice. She's the only one who knows where Sagatar is. We cannot attack while he's on the loose. Oh, very well. But if you tell him or the others we are here... I will honor my word. Now go. You have displeased Flog. The other Galactic Guardians will stay the night in General Nikos' home. Slushhead's men will watch the house. We attack tomorrow when the herd runs. Her trickery has doomed her entire planet as well. Oh, sounds like tomorrow is going to be my kind of day. It was nice of General Nikor to let us stay at his home. Strange how Sagatar left us at the base without saying anything. The General said he had to go directly to the Plain of Oats. That wasn't true. Flog and a half a hundred mutant troopers invaded before you arrived. They struck swiftly and overwhelmed us. Where are the mutants now? Outside. The house is surrounded. They're waiting to attack. They're here! They threatened to destroy all my people, city by city, unless we did as they ordered. We understand, Mesquita. You're certain it was her? It was Mesquita. I recognized her. Why would she visit General Nikos' house this late at night? Ah, for only one reason, to warn He-Man of our trap. Slushhead, listen very carefully. Right. Mesquita has warned the Galactic Guardians that we're here. Right. Keep your eyes on the house until we get there. Right. When we get there, we'll attack. Attack! No, no! I said when we get there! When we get there, we'll attack! It's the mutants! They must have followed me. I'm sorry, He-Man. It's the mutants who'll be sorry before this night is over. The enemy is ours! Attack! Well, look who's here. Here it comes, big guy. Mm, wait till I get my hands on Slushhead. Flog, do you read me? Ready for the second attack. This time we finish them. I don't know if we can hold them off again. We're not going to hold them off. We're going to attack. Lay down some cover for me.
vehicles converge on He-Man. Take him at all costs! That's right. Everyone come to me. The crystal fuel inside this tank will explode with a single blast from my sword. The explosion ought to slow the mutants down. And now, to join the fun! Now! No! 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 He's won again! Get out! Waited many tilks to even the score with Staghorn. You can thank Mosquito for coming to the secret base and warning us of Skeletor's plan. This time it is my people who are the victors, Staghorn. Too bad you will not celebrate that victory with them. Why? <laughs> People are weak! You are peace-loving cowards! Loving peace does not make one a coward, and as for being weak... Keppel's checking to see if the mutants did any damage to the Eternia. Wilkins' people did a good job of getting it back for us in one piece. Flog never thought they'd attack the space base. There are many things evil people don't understand. Like the beauty of a new day and the running of the herd. will win me the Primus Medal of Honor for sure! Gepel, slow down! No time, Hydrin! <laughs> Running is fun, but it's one activity that's strictly outdoors fun. For safety's sake, don't run indoors. <laughs> <laughs> 